Hey guys, so this is my favorite 2014 video and this video is pre-recorded because by the time I'll be uploading this I'll be already on my holiday to see my family and the reason why I can't film in there is because I'm not going to bring all this makeup bits with me because that would be silly, it's way too much makeup to bring with you on holiday. These products are my ultimate loves of 2014 so I've been loving them for the entire year, for months, so yeah if you want to see what products I've been loving throughout the year then keep on watching. So I'm going to start with a foundation and there is honestly just one foundation that's worth mentioning. I've been using this throughout the whole year and I wasn't able to find anything comparable to this. It is my Revlon Color Stay foundation. I pretty much feature this in all of my makeup tutorials and get ready with me videos. This is just amazing. It looks like this. It's a just beautiful finish, good color range. Usually when I'm really pale, I will use the buff shade, but normally I use some beige shade. So it is what I'm wearing right now. And I love this and I don't see myself choosing any other foundation anytime soon. So I have two primers to show you that I've been loving throughout the past year. And one is my high-end option and one is from drugstore, but I actually love to mix them two together to achieve my perfect results. So firstly, I have Benefit Professional Primer. And I had this thing for a long, long time and I'm still going strong with it. I love this. This has a very nice and smoothing effect on the skin. It's a silicone-based primer, I believe, because it feels like very velvety and silicone-y. But it does reduce the appearance of pores. And I love to pair this with another primer, a Revlon Photo Ready primer. And this one is sealed because I ran out of my other one. And basically I love to put my professional all over my face and then this I love to put where my foundation would normally crease, especially underneath my eyes because this primer is quite moisturizing and it's not silicone-y. So I love to put this underneath my eyes, around my mouth area and on my forehead so it reduces creasing. Moving on to powders, before this year I was never a really big fan of powders because my skin was extremely extremely dry and I never like to apply them because they would even make my skin even dry and horrible looking but since I've started to use very heavy duty moisturizers I actually really like primers because they also prolong your foundation wear and my hands down favorite powder ever is Sephora Mineral Powder. It looks like this. This one is in the shade Medium R30. So yes you can see that's the shade but then this is the actual name and the undertone i absolutely love this this is not drying if you have very oily skin then you should try just the original sephora powder the one that mattifies this is the mineral powder so it's nowhere as drying but it provides a beautiful coverage it adds on your coverage and make your skin look very flawless and dull like because even though i haven't hit pan on it just yet i can see myself hitting a pan on this soon but because it's so nice and compact in this little form it's really hard to hit pan on it but for the paler days and also for drugstore powder i have dream matte powder by maybelline and this has been discontinued this year so i won't be able to purchase this anymore which makes me sad because i've pretty much been using this or this throughout the whole year i've tried other powders such as rimmel london stay matte powder or whatever it's called which i really didn't like whereas dream matte powder was really nice and it is nice nice in the shade free golden beige but for me that was really quite pale if you can compare the one to sephora powder maybe you could see the difference in color like this one even though it's in the shade free it's a lot lot paler but still I have been really loving this and reaching for this a lot. Moving on to bronzers, just like in the previous ones, I have a high-end and drugstore option of bronzers that I've been loving. And firstly, I actually may mention one of the drugstore ones that I have because this sleek counter kit I've been loving throughout the first half of the year. So basically I don't really use this now, but from January till about June maybe. I've been absolutely loving this and this was pretty much the only bronzer that I used to use, this one. This is the face contour kit in the shade light and this bronzer I used to love for contouring but I kind of went off it but I know for a fact it's a great bronzer because I did love it a lot. So that's what I've been using throughout the first half of the year but then 
In the second half of the year, I absolutely been adoring Hula Bronzer by Benefit. I think this is such a great bronzer. People rave about it all the time. It's just a perfect color. It's not orange. It's not too dark. It's not too light. It's just perfect for sculpting your face, in my opinion. And yeah, I just love this. However, as a good jupe of this, whenever I travel and I go traveling quite a lot, I don't take this because during traveling my makeup tends to get really ruined and you'll be able to tell by this next bronzer. This is NYC Sunny Bronzer and this is my pretty much my dupe or my alternative to Hula Bronzer and look at this, look how damaged this is. And it's all because of traveling and look how much of this is gone. So you can see that I really love this bronzer. I have only one blush to show you because I'm not the biggest blush person. Blushes tend to be really pink tone based and I don't like anything pink on my face. I don't think it looks very flattering and the red or pink stuff on my cheeks. However, this blush is very nice and summery and it's orange. It doesn't have any pink tones to it. That's why I love it so much. It's by Sleek and it is called Life is a Peach. And I will sh quickly show you the color. This is such a nice color on your cheeks. It looks beautiful like above your bronzer I think in my opinion this looks really nice throughout the entire summer I've been wearing this and in the autumn and winter time I try to switch to like more berry colors but I can never I always tend to reach for this if I want to look nice I will never go for any other blush I'll always go for this one and I find it so fascinating because again just like with the Sephora powder this is so compact and you need the littlest bit and look I have been using this throughout the whole year and doesn't even look that touched I was meant to talk about two highlighters in this video however one of them is gone I don't know what happened to it like seriously two days ago I was recording my Christmas makeup look and I was using that highlighter and ever since I'm not able Able to find it anywhere I don't know whether I put it somewhere where I wasn't meant to put it or something but I honestly have to tidy my room up and find it but this is basically again from Sephora highlighting compact powder in the shade golden and these sort of highlighters something that I tend to go for something very nice and gold and yellow base not something pink or very white highlighters I prefer something like this which will give me this nice glow and very nice tanned and gold effect so I absolutely love this I think this is a perfect color this is very nice and pigmented looking highlighter I got it for Christmas like last year and ever since I've been obsessed so pretty much for the entire year I've been obsessed with this highlight other highlighter that I was meant to talk about is very pretty much very identical it's not identical but it's very similar to this one it's also yellow and champagne based highlighter but the other one was cream and it was from philosophy and it was called divine illuminator uh, and in, in the shade honey gold i believe so i've been loving the other one for summer time because creams tend to be more long lasting i have two concealers to show you one that i have been using for years and one that i only been starting to wear and like in 2014 so both of them are from the drugstore and firstly I have Maybelline Superstay 24 hour concealer this used to be my holy grail concealer for years I used to love this stuff but it did get discontinued however I stocked up before and in the first half of the year I was still wearing this because I still had a few tubes for me to use up and had to find something different and I found this obviously very raved about concealer from collection lasting perfection ultimate wear concealer and it looks like this and this is good but it's not as good but I do like it and I can't say I don't like it but comparing this to something that's been your favorite for years is quite hard but it is good it has nice coverage and everything I just don't like how kind of oily it is like it will leave me feel shiny a lot shinier than this this was very mattifying this is not as mattifying and I think it's not as long lasting either it can turn into like a grayish color I have repurchased this tone so it's only fair that I mention it despite me preferring this one I have one gel eyeliner one liquid eyeliner and two pencil ones to show you 
and I might start with pencil ones just because these are the ones that I use on day to day basics I don't really wear eyeliner every day I just like to tight line my eyes and sometimes put some on my waterline and these two are definitely the ones that I've been reaching for the most throughout the past year first of all this one Bourjois waterproof eyeliner in the shade 41 Black Party it's the one that I've been using mostly during the first half of the year I love this this is such a nice and very true black and very smooth and long-lasting eyeliner and my other eyeliner is this one from Scandalize from Rimmel London this eyeliner has been raved on about a lot it's again very nice and smooth the color is really nice and opaque it's quite long-lasting I don't know which one I would like best I mean they are very very similar in the texture and in the color I would say the Rimmel one is a little bit more black whereas Bourjois is a little bit more grey if you can see that's Bourjois and that's Rimmel so Rimmel is a little bit more black and for my gel eyeliner I have a good old favorite from Maybelline this is just the one that comes in this little pot and it's called Eye Studio Lasting Drama Gel Eyeliner 24 hours in the shade black and I've been loving this for like two years maybe it is very good I love to apply this with my elf small angled brow and my liquid eyeliner is again from Maybelline and yeah I've just been really liking these Maybelline products and this one I have purchased this year so to say can't remember when exactly but ever since I've been obsessed this is my favorite liquid eyeliner by far the easiest to apply from what I have tried and it is Maybelline Line Stiletto Ultimate Precision Liquid Eyeliner and it looks like this and I have never seen this in any stores in the UK I don't know why I have been trying to look for this and I have never been able to find it so I had to order this online and I'm so glad I did because look at the applicator the applicator looks kind of like this it's very nice and easy to apply now moving on to one of the most important makeup products for me they definitely have to be the mascaras and these three are the three mascaras that I have been loving the most throughout the year and I have tried quite a lot of mascaras if you would see my mascara draw I actually have loads and loads of mascaras that I have tried in the past year and I was able to find three that I love the most hands down so firstly I have a good old favorite this is Maybelline the Falsies mascara I just love it it's very dramatic but I would say I reached more for this during the first half of the year because then I started to branch out and try new mascaras and I'm so glad that I did because then I discovered this and this is Rimmel London Day to Night Mascara it really makes your eyelashes look long, volumized, lengthened, doll-like just everything and so these two have definitely been my favorites for the top lashes and for the bottom lashes I either love to use this one as well because this is actually pretty good for your bottom lashes or my good old favorite again this I have been using for about two years now as well and I love this this is Rimmel London Glamize Mascara just the original Glamize Mascara now lipsticks were probably the hardest makeup items for me to choose from to put in this video because I found so many beautiful lipsticks throughout this whole entire year I have first of all two MAC lipsticks and first one is a nude and it is Myth so basically the lipstick that loads of people talk about and firstly when I purchased this I was not crazy about it at all I really quite didn't like it I thought it came out patchy on my lips it was just not a very flattering color but what I've been doing with this throughout the second half of this year is I've been pairing this with a darker lip liner like a darker brown lip liner and this on top and I think that's what made it look really beautiful and my second MAC lipstick is probably one of my favorite lipsticks of all time I absolutely love this shade it's just so amazing it is Max Ruby Wool look at it it's just such a true red a beautiful beautiful red color and makes your lips look so unique so catchy I have two oranges and oranges are my absolute favorites to wear during summertime and I have my big big classic my sleek matte lipstick in the shade papaya punch which is such a bright orange shade it's very pretty shade though it makes your lips look 
beautiful, very big, very plump up, very nice. The lipstick is very drying, it's a very drying formula, but it's also long lasting, so I don't really mind if my lips are dry, I just have to really heavy moisturize them afterwards. But I just love this for summer, this is perfect and such a beautiful shade. And then my other orange, which is not so bright, I would say, but it's still a nice orange, is by Maybelline Color Sensational. And it is in the shade Electric Orange 912. And it is nowhere as drying, but it's also long lasting. I also have a darker nude, so the one that's really raved on at the moment. And this is what I'm wearing right now. And it is by Sephora. It is from Sephora Rouge line, and it's called Ingenuous. So it looks like this that's the name. And that's the lipstick so as you can see it's a darker nude it's nowhere as dark as the hazelnut by Revlon but it's still a quite dark nude and it's pretty I've been wearing this for college non-stop I just think it's very nice for the daytime but again it's not matte but it's not glossy and does wear off beautifully it stays on forever I also have one from Stila and this is just your lips but better color and it is Stila Longwear lip color in the shade Flushed and it comes in this foam which isn't my favorite but I don't mind it because I love the color and I love to wear this with number 7 precision lip pencil in the shade Blush I just think these two complement each other beautifully this is kind of like a mauve kind of pink but mauve color it looks really nice on the lips and my last one is uh, the one that I've been talking about in my last favorites video I actually loved this back in January and February as well and now in November and December time I've been loving this one this is Estee Lauder pure color long lasting lipstick in the shade 118 boys the rose or obviously I don't know the correct pronunciation but that's how just I read it it's a very nice plum color it actually comes on your lips darker than it comes on tubes for my lip liner favorites I only have one brand as you can imagine because I only rave about these ones all the time and they are number seven precision lip pencils I have them in many different colors I absolutely love them they have perfect opaque color they are very matte and long lasting they don't smudge they have this twisted form so they don't have to be sharpened or anything they are very nice and precise next product that I've been loving throughout 2014 is an eyebrow product well it's in fact eyeshadow but I use it to fill out my brows every single day and it is this this is Rimmel London Glamise Mono Eyeshadow in the shade 214 Jet Black and I'm using on my brand new one because this one is completely rubbed off at the back I've been using this one for years I think this lasted me for about two years and a half or something ever since I dyed my hair black color this is what I've been using it's perfect it's very pigmented I wouldn't call it jet black however because it's more muted down grayish black color it's not very opaque black color I have an eyebrow gel favorite and this is again something that I've been traveling with a lot therefore you can't really see the brand or anything but this is by Ardell and it's called brow sculpting gel I believe and but I'm going to leave the proper name down below if I'm wrong and basically I love this because it's very quite natural it smells amazing very fruity I always expected brow gels to smell quite gross and not very nice very plasticky but this one smells very fruity so I really love that about it and this one's also very natural so when you put it on it doesn't feel like a glue on your eyebrows it sets your brows in place but it's not like a very thick gluey consistency okay and for my last favorite that I've been loving throughout 2014 is an eyeshadow base and it is by next and it's the jumbo eye pencil in the shade milk I love this thing, I've been wearing this for the entire year, this is a good base to prevent your eyeshadow from creasing but it's also very white as you can see so it blends really nice because I love whites on my lids, it will just add up to the whiteness and it will just brighten up the area, my lids and my inner corners so I just love that about this and even if I create some other makeup look I still like to pop this because it makes the other eyeshadow colors more intense because they will show up more on white as opposed to on cream okay guys so that is the end for my favorites 2014 thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed if you did then please like this video and subscribe to me if you're not already and i will see you in the next one bye